Okay, so um, hi and welcome. Today I'm gonna tie an um, uh, interesting uh, salmon fly. So it's gonna have uh, some interesting materials in it, and uh, yeah, I prepared a little bit here. So uh, yeah, buckle up, prepare a uh, coke and uh, some popcorn. This is gonna take a while. Uh, I'm gonna try to cut everything in between. See, it's just the moments. Okay, so let's go, uh, start this one. Um, starting with the silver tinsel, the extra small from uh, Vevus. That's the one. So I'm just gonna secure the tinsel. Today I'm tying on a really large hook. It's a seven o. display fly uh, that I'm gonna bring to the EWF uh, show in Munich uh, next weekend so I'm flying out on, on Friday Tinsel is secure. So I thought. Hmm. Oh, it's secure. Yeah, I did something stupid there. I'm just tying it in to the gutes using the material I have to even out the, the body. So there I can cut it off. Put on the garbage there. And that's the, the start. So let's go back with the thread somewhere here. Gonna add purple and Japanese silk, of course. I'm just gonna build up a little bit volume there. That's a good start. I think it's better with the black in the background. So let me take the purple silk. There it is. Since it's gonna be a display fly, I'm gonna use gloves when I tie it in to make sure the fat on my hands doesn't ruin the shine of the, the silk. So let me see. There we are, gloves. Looks a bit funny, but their results uh, is a huge difference. So going backwards with the silk until I meet the silver tinsel and then forward again and then tie it in. to secure it. There we are. Silk secured. So 
tiny that 20 in this one. Now I can remove the gloves. So I'm just building up uh, to make sure the base where I tie in the, the tail is equal to the uh, silk behind so it doesn't lift the tail otherwise it's going to push it up. So before doing that Adding some bags. again time for some more bags have a bit thicker thread today it's a 12 -0, uh, 50 denier uh, viewers thread GSP very nice to use but normally I do the, the 18 -0. but this one was on the table so let's use it It's time for Kotinga or you know if you use pitta or whatever. There we are, much better. Adding some bags again. And then we're going to do the same underneath. So let me see what we can do here. So I need to change the direction of the vise.
looks pretty good to me I would say so let me then turn it back force this one up just to make sure it's in level there it is little bit more banks because now we're gonna add ostrich hurl wraps of this one Off. And we're gonna have a silver tinsel hulls body. So I go with the large, and it's also Bevis. Um, nice shine on it. Adding just a little bit of wax to make sure the, the tinsel stays when I tie it in. So now I'm just going to figure out until where stop so I think that's a good one nah, maybe a bit shorter but what I could do is to match so yeah not bad so I'm gonna do it here so before I do the tin cell I'm just going to even up the body a bit using the thread that's why I took a clicky thread today so there we are let me then uh, start to add the tinsel
thing. Okay, just to make sure I can do it the whole bit. with the thread and cutting it off there we are so just building up to make sure it's the right level See, I'm just gonna adjust this one first. There we are. Adding some wax. Second red feather underneath. So let's see there. evil there we are so going back Forcing the vise in upright position. And I think it's time for a uh, second ostrich hurl. Yeah. The bit of wax.
So I'm just gonna cut that one off. And the waxing the thread of course. Tinsel, and for this one, I'm gonna do embossed silver tinsel because I think it's much nicer. So I'm doubling the hackle. Uh, yeah, for, for your information, the next fair is uh, gonna be next week, so I'm gonna do a movie there. I might do some time lapse, me tying, and you know, audience and people walking by. Uh, so, yeah, make sure not to miss out on that one. It's uh, Europe's largest uh, fly fair, only fly fishing and fly tying, nothing else. Those are the ones I like. <clears throat> so I'm not sure yet what I'm going to tie at the fair, so it's going to be interesting. So I think I need to study some patterns and decide which, which fly to tie. And again, I need to use gloves. Silks sticks. Otherwise, if you put some tension on it, it might get loose, and you need to redo it. backwards and then back again. This is the first time I tie this pattern. It's it. 
Nice one, for sure. Yeah, and it's spring as you can hear, all the birds are going crazy outside. They just arrived. Before I go behind the, the co-capsule. It's almost done. And then I'm gonna take the, the silver tinsel and then the cockle and after that it's the front tackle and then gonna make a the wing so let's tie that one in and glove That one we save for later for another fly. Adding some wax to the thread. Backwards. Last map. There we are. Now I need to find the, the appropriate uh, feather as the front tackle. So I think it's gonna be Macau. So I just need to dig it out. 
So I'm gonna stop the video here and then as soon as I found the further then I'm gonna start it again, okay? Okay, let's continue. So I have found the, the my cow feather. Um, really, really nice flight to tie actually. Um, I enjoy it. So let me turn this one in. Let's see how it turns out. That's gonna have a few turns of this one. I think three turns will be sufficient. And that's three. Whoops. Let me redo that. Quite thick in the bottom, so that's why. No, uh, I don't want to do too many. So let me move this one a little bit. So there we are. Maybe I should go down a little bit. Dwarf tying. <laughs> so, yeah. Some, uh, some wax. That looks okay. Not bad. So I'm just gonna add some more. Thread there. Hmm. Maybe that's the trick. One at a time. So let me try that. Ha. 
just gonna try to pull these ones, the blue ones, away. And that's okay. So, what I'm gonna do now is to add uh, a lot of varnish, let it dry, and then uh, continue with the next step. So, I will. Uh, House for now. Uh, it's not really fun to look varnish dry, right? Okay, so let's uh, continue with the wing. Now it's uh, golden piece and uh, tip wing. Uh, one on each side, and then another one on each side, and then for the last one we go that one. So I will start on my side and see if I can get it in place. And tap some wax first, of course. Now it's perfect, spot on. Some more varnish, in this case I use vineyards and uh, then I'm gonna adjust these ones so it's gonna be uh, the next layer on top of that one, okay? So I will stop here and prepare everything and let the varnish dry and then we do it. So, back again. So we should attach the third wing component. This one wasn't really doing where I wanted it to go. is better a little bit. much better. completely happy. Gonna add it a bit more on the upper part. Let me see if I can adjust it. There we are. Yeah, now it's much closer. Mm-hmm. There. Now, now I'm okay with it. Uh, it's important to make sure you know you think it you think it's good enough. You're happy with the results. Otherwise, just redo it. 
So I'm gonna add a little bit of varnish and then I'm gonna add the, the eye on the, my side. Just quickly going to match this one in. It's a beautiful feather, come on. So yeah, it's gonna be a, a nice fly to have as a display in a frame. <coughs> oh sorry for that. But yeah. This one I will not sell for sure. If you want to have a peak, so I'm going to varnish that part. And I'm just going to wait a little, little bit before I uh, do it on the other side as well. So I'm going to stop the video and uh, start it again when it's time to mount it on the other side so in between i just gonna prepare this feather strip up off as much as i need because as you see you know it should just be like that okay i don't really like to wait <laughs> yeah, i'm a bit excited about this fly it's a uh, a uh, really, really nice one and uh, I think we're gonna try to mount the, the last eye yeah? so let me just play around with the feather a little bit let me Yeah. yeah, spot on. So, what I will do is to add a little bit of varnish and we do the cheeks, large uh, uh, blue feathers. Okay, so yeah, it looks strange, yeah? I finished the fly because I had a call from from my friend Karsten from uh, LTS Germany and uh, yeah <laughs> I was tying I forgot to put on the recorder and uh, I had a video a conversation on my laptop next here so so <laughs> I'm very sorry <laughs> but but actually I I just finished the fly uh, so so this is uh, one of the fly I'm gonna frame for. Um, the the uh, EWF uh, and uh, yeah I'm pre pretty happy with it it's okay not bad so I'm gonna varnish the head a, a few times more cut off the thread and uh, I'm gonna frame it later this weekend and uh, yeah br bring it to that fair so if you're there you can watch it live um, and if you're not you've seen it here okay Thank you for watching. Uh, next video is going to be for sure EWF uh, from the show. Um, after that, I'm uh, thinking about you know, hey, just take this vice, throw it away, let's do something in the hand. It's funny. I've done it uh, quite a lot before, but, but not at that, that level. So we're going to go a bit smaller flies, do everything in hand. And I, I think it's easier for me to, to show what I'm doing in hand. Uh, okay. See you next time. And thanks for watching. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. And also um, you can share it, whatever you want. And uh, yeah. 
uh, if you want me to do anything write in the comments you can message me reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram I always uh, take care of uh, you know the, the guys hanging around and uh, you know I'm, I'm here for you guys okay cheers <laughs>